Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Deck and if you enjoy talking about movies in any way, shape or form, you're going to feel right at home here. In today's video, we'll be talking about the news that Sony has decided to push back four of their major summer film releases back into 2021. So let's just jump straight into it. We're going to go through them one by one. I'm going to start off with Peter Rabbit 2. Um, this movie has been delayed. Of course, this movie did get pushed back to, I believe it was July uh, initially, because this movie should have been out already. Uh, but now it's been pushed back again to January what is it January the 15th of 2021 um, yeah I mean I'm not really gonna talk about this one because I don't care about this movie I'm not gonna see this movie uh, if there are any fans watching of Peter Rabbit 2 who are of the original Peter Rabbit who are eagerly anticipating Peter Rabbit 2 I'm I'm very sorry for you to hear this but yeah it's been delayed uh, so moving on to the next one on March the 5th of 2021 they are gonna be releasing Ghostbusters Afterlife now this is of course the sort of official third film in the Ghostbusters trilogy. Uh, this is going to be following on from Ghostbusters 2. This is directed by uh, Ivan Reitman's son. Um, and this is a interesting case because Ghostbusters Afterlife, I believe, was also meant to be a July release. It was coming out around the same time as stuff like Top Gun Maverick and uh, Tenet. So this film is going to be pushed back till March. March does seem like a good release date for a movie like this, though. I do think, like, March, it could benefit quite well from being in a, you know, March release date. I think that works quite well for this film. Um, and I think that this film, I'm quite anticipated about it as well. I think it looks really good. Like, I actually think the trailer really impressed me. Given the fact that the only Ghostbusters movie I've actually seen is the 2016 Paul Feig one, I'm interested to actually delve into this franchise a little bit more, and I definitely will watch the first original two before going to see this one, because again, this is the first actual third movie, but I'm really excited about this movie just because the cast is great, Paul Rudd, and it also has kind of like Stranger Things slash It kind of vibes to it, which does look really cool. Uh, pushing this movie back to March, though, um, yeah, taking it out of that summer release date, it could be good, it could be bad. I actually think this is a better release date for this movie, as I said, because I think if you have it in July with all these other films, this could be a case where... Perhaps people just don't care about Ghostbusters anymore and people won't see it amongst some of the other big summer blockbusters It's kind of like what we saw with Terminator Dark Fate I mean they released that in October and it did terribly still um, and we don't know what Ghostbusters is gonna be like I mean the last 2016 Ghostbusters movie didn't do that well uh, So it's not like Ghostbusters is a franchise that people are eagerly wanting more stuff for I mean I definitely feel more hype towards this movie already uh, than the previous one, but Maybe the March release date will do a bit better. Who knows? Um, then the next film coming out about two weeks after that on March the 19th, we have Morbius. Now Morbius is the film, it's the next film in Sony's universe of Marvel characters as it's called. It's their somewhat Marvel cinematic universe that's not connected to the MCU, but it kind of is connected to the MCU. We don't really know. Uh, I mean, we've seen a couple of trailers now and I mean, we've seen Michael Keaton at the end of one of them. We are assuming this is Adrian Toomes. So it's kind of connected to the MCU, but we don't know to what degree it's connected to the MCU. <sighs> It's Sony at this point. They're gonna do what they want, but Morbius like it doesn't look good It looks kind of trash But then again, this is the same studio that made Venom and this is the same universe as Venom and Venom is a movie I really enjoy it's terrible, but I enjoy it. So in a way I'm kind of excited about Morbius and this movie getting pushed back to March. I mean it, it was meant to be a, I think that was also meant to be a July movie it was going to be a July movie, and that's a weird date for a movie like Morbius. Like, I think Morbius should go for an October-November date like Venom did, because Venom works well on that kind of date, because all these characters that Sony seems to be focusing on are a bit more horror-based and a bit more, you know, freaky, scary kind of characters. Um, and Morbius being a living vampire, I think that would work really well for, like, a Halloween release date. So, uh, but then again, I guess they just didn't feel comfortable putting it in an October date, because obviously we're not that clear yet, so we don't know how far they want to push things in advance, because obviously we don't know how long the situation's going to go on for, but... I think a March release date, again, it could work, it, it could work, because again, I think, similarly to Ghostbusters, this movie, I, it could drown amongst the other big summer blockbuster releases, so to push it back to March does make a lot of sense, um, because again, it's just, it's one of those films that just might not work in a summer release, so I think to push it back to March, I mean, it could be like Venom, you know, Venom came out in October and it did so well and nearly made a billion dollars, but Morbius, I don't know, it doesn't have... I'm not feeling the same kind of level for it that Venom had. Uh, and then finally, on December the 8th of 2021, all the way back then, we have a, another release date for the Uncharted movie. Um, I don't know how much I've spoken about the Uncharted movie on this channel. I think I've spoken about it a little bit. Uh, I am extremely uh, worried about this film. Like, Uncharted is my favorite video game series of all time. Um, I'm very connected to the franchise, very connected to the characters. 
So them doing a movie for this scares the living crap out of me. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, the director, they've got Ruben Fleischer, who directed Venom, but also directed, the, you know, Zombieland 1 and 2. Um, he's directing it. We've got Tom Holland playing a young Nathan Drake. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of them doing like a young Nathan Drake. But then again, I don't want to do an old Nathan Drake because if you do older, I'm going to want Nolan North's voice and you can't cast Nolan North. Uh, also, they got Mark Wahlberg playing Sully, which is borderline hilarious. Um, especially because if you don't know, Mark Wahlberg was meant to play Nathan Drake in a movie about 10 years ago. And it's just gone on that long. Mark Wahlberg has now grown out of Nathan Drake and is now apparently old enough to play Sully. Uh, but this is ridiculous. Um... So December the 8th, I mean, it was actually originally scheduled for, I believe, December of this year, and it was meant to start filming within the next couple of months, um, but that's obviously gone out the window, so they are clearly giving themselves a long kind of stretch for this one, they're giving them as much time as they, as they want, um, which, you know, fair enough, I mean, this movie has actually been in development for so many years at this point, who knows when it's going to bloody come out, but if it does come out in December 2021, it's a good date for something like this because December is sometimes when you can just chuck something that you don't know how it's going to land, like Aquaman, for example. Like Aquaman, I don't think anybody predicted Aquaman was going to be as big of a success as it was going to be. No one expected it to be a billion dollar film. I know I certainly didn't, but they chucked it in December and there it was and it made a billion dollars and became one of the most successful comic book movies of the last decade. Uh, so Uncharted, could follow suit who knows but then again video game movies they don't do typically that well uh they you know are kind of very yeah so who knows how it's gonna go uncharted and, and the quality of the movie i doubt it's gonna be that that high uh, again i'm extremely worried about it as a fan it could be okay it could be like tomb raider where you know it was, it was fairly decent but who knows at this point who bloody knows but anyway that's the news that's everything that sony has released about the films they're delaying and it's just you know it's just the next studio kind of to delay their next level of releases we kind of have everything up till kind of july slash august at the moment like everything past that point is still fine uh, i know they did actually make a specific note saying venom 2 is still on track so there we go boys but still uh what do you guys think about the news let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below which of these movies were you disappointed to see uh, released you know which one were you disappointed to see delayed whatever you thought about it let me know in the comments down below and as always guys if you want to see more movie reviews and movie related videos just like this one be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me and hope to see you guys again next time